So how does the heart get oxygen? Typically, people think that because the heart is continuously pumping blood in and out. So blood goes in, out, back in and out, that the heart just automatically gets oxygen. Well, that's not, that's not really how it works. So there are vessels that actually feed your heart with O2, and they're called coronary arteries. If you actually think about it, let's say that I, I, I got this heart and I cut it in half, right? Not half, but I cut this bottom portion off. And now I got this and I just kind of lift it up and now you're looking at the inside of the heart. Well, let's pretend that this is that part that I cut off. Do you see how thick this is? This is pretty thick and it'd be hard for O2 to get from the chambers all the way across to the rest of the tissue and oxygenate it. So the way this works is that as the aorta is leaving, so the aorta is the is that vessel that takes blood from your left chamber to the rest of your body, you have these vessels that actually branch off of the aorta as soon as it leaves the heart. And these are called the coronary arteries right here. You have the left anterior descending artery. Anterior means in front, it's in the front of the heart. And then you have your right coronary artery, which is on the right side of the heart. Um, and then you have another one in the back. These actually feed your heart with O2. And that is how your heart itself is oxygenated. Now, I made a, a video on CAD, coronary artery disease, um, then acute coronary syndrome, and MI also. And when I'm talking about these, CAD, ACS, and, M and M MI blockages or partial blockages, I'm, I'm really specifically only talking about these arteries, the coronary arteries, okay? So if you want to go back to that video um, and, then, and then just kind of get the big picture view of everything, that might help you out. Well, that's it for this video. I just really wanted to talk about how the heart itself gets O2. So, hope you guys find this helpful. I am also actually going to make another video in, in a few minutes about the valves. So just about the valves, what they're called, and where they are. And I hope that one, that one really helps you out. Like always, if you have any questions, want me to make any more details, be more specific, I will make a, I will make a completely different video just about that. So until then, see you guys. Bye.